Hi guys, Rachel CPR here. Today I wanted to share with you a project that I'm putting together to for some storage in my beauty space and I just wanted to share it with you. I am going to be using these acrylic boxes and these you can purchase at Michael's. You can also purchase them at um, Walmart and Target. They are all about the same price. The advantage of buying them at Michael's is you can use a 40 to 60% off discount. I used a 60% off discount to get all of these. I have a total of six. The other box you will need or picture frame, because this is a cubed picture frame. Let me just put it in the camera so that you can see what it looks like. You will also be needing one of these. This is another picture frame and it is an 8.5 inch by 11 inch studio decor basics picture frame and what we're going to do is just take out this insert and then we will use it as a draw for our organizer. I will also be using this cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you're familiar with this. I am going to use this to back my project because I, I want everything to be pretty see-through. And then I will also be using this pack of hinges that I got from Home Depot and I will be using this Scotch double-sided clear trim mounting tape. This is a 10 pound, this package will hold 10 pounds of weight. So this is a really, really heavy duty tape and I'm going to use this instead of hot glue because I feel like I'll have a little bit more control with this. And I am also going to use E6000 for my hinge. So I'm going to start putting my project together and see how things go. Okay, so now I have all of my pieces, all of my um, cube pieces put together and you will see that they kind of bend in because they're supposed to grip around each other. So I am going to use my top layer to secure this just the same way I did it at the bottom. And this can be the final part of the project outside of just sliding your drawers in and putting the back on. But what I am going to do is I am going to make a top compartment instead of just having a top kind of shelf. I'm going to secure this on here and I'm going to make sure these open up all the way with the same overhang as the bottom pieces. And that is what's going to make it super secure. But then I'm also going to add my hinges 
to the top with another one of these, which I ran out of them. I have to run to the store and get another one. And I'm going to make this an open and closing container where I'm going to keep some makeup brushes. And I'm really excited about that because I know with the clear cube, there is that opening and closing top and I really wanted to make it as close to that as possible. So right now I'm going to secure this on and then I am going to come back and show you how I attach my hinges to the back and then we will put the back piece on, which again will be this chopping board that will be secured right on the back. I kind of don't like how cloudy this is looking, so I'll see if I'll just use that or if I'll use stoppers. So at this point, I am going to put corner covers on the bottom so that it will not scratch my clear glass tabletop. And I am just going to secure these corners with the double-sided tape. This is optional, but it is a good idea. And once I put those on, I realized that it was great also to slide the back cover on. And I also secure that with double-sided tape. And then you get the results which turned out to be very, very beautiful. It was more than I expected it to be. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. It looks clear. It looks great empty. And I love it when it's filled with my makeup. It has been very, very useful for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and tag me on Instagram at Rachel CPR Hair. And I would love to see your creation. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you come back again. Bye.